everybody this is Zoe from No Saver Place and I am so excited to share this review with you. If you've been following my channel for a while you will know how much I absolutely love The Christmasaurus by Tom Fletcher. So when I saw that he was bringing out another book aimed at the same kind of audience but it was a horror book I was so excited. Now because it's only one month till publication date today I thought I would share this video with you today and it is a review of the Creakers by Tom Fletcher. This book was seriously incredible. It was even better than The Christmasaurus for me and you will know how much I loved that. So The Creakers focuses on 11 year old Lucy Dunstan and she lives in Whiffington Town and Lucy wakes up one day and realises that her parents are gone. But it's not just her parents, it's everyone's. There are no adults in Whiffington Town anymore. Lucy becomes the real mother of this group of children that are left in Whiffington Town and she particularly takes Ella and Norman kind of under her wing and they are the three main characters of this story and all of them are just amazing. Of course the whole town turns into chaos with no adults around, there are children driving in cars, they are eating whatever they want, they are pretty much doing whatever they want which as you probably know, would ensue a lot of chaos. They find a note from the adults in their school saying that they are gone forever and they are not going to return, but Lucy struggles to believe this. She doesn't believe that her parents would leave her. Introducing the Creakers. Now we meet the Creakers and they are the most disgusting things I think I've ever come across in my life. They stink, they're just revolting and what I love most about them is they speak backwards and what I mean by they speak backwards is if they say they love something they mean they hate it, if they say they dislike something they mean they love it, that kind of thing which I thought was such a great thing for them to do. And where do they live I hear you ask? Well they live underneath your bed. They don't like sunlight but one thing they really do love is rubbish and a whole heaping load of it. Lucy hears the Creakers and thinks they're suspicious and thinks they might be behind what has happened to their parents so she decides that she needs to unveil the truth on what's really happened to the grown-ups of Whiffington. Lucy must venture into the Woleb. Now I loved this, I loved this play on word which obviously is the below backwards and the Woleb is the land of the Creakers and it's her job to bring back the grown-ups. Now I don't want to say any more about the storyline because I think that you should find that out yourselves because it's an absolutely incredible book. As always Tom's books are really clever and one of the things I loved most about this was the dozy dust. Now this is such a small part of the story but he has literally thought about every single thing to make this book as magical as possible. Now the dozy dust is what the creakers come around and sprinkle onto you to make sure you're asleep before they venture out into your room. And they sprinkle it onto your eyes and then when you wake up you have some dozy dust in the corners of your eyes which we call sleep. And I thought that was just such a great idea, I just loved it. And also I loved how with this book he has kept some familiar characters from his other book The Christmasaurus, you will definitely see some familiar faces. And whilst we're talking about familiar faces, if you know some people in Tom's life you will definitely recognise some names and I thought this was very very sweet. I don't want to spoil it because it is quite a sweet part of the book but a part that I loved. What I love about Tom's writing style is he really talks to the audience, he asks questions, he keeps them engaged and another way he does this is in between each chapter he has a page directly pointed at you so it feels really personal and like he really wants to keep you involved in the story which especially for children is something that will really keep them going. Creakers kind of remind me of a PG version of the Gremlins and they talk just like the BFG from Roald Dahl's book and honestly they are just revoltingly awesome. As always the illustrations in here are absolutely beautiful. I don't think I can show you them yet because obviously this is a proof and they're not finalised and things like that but honestly they are just stunning just like they were in the Christmasaurus. So when this comes out next month I make sure you go and pick up a copy. I've already pre-ordered a signed copy, I will leave a link below how you can pick up a signed copy from WH Smith and Waterstones I believe. But for me this book was more enjoyable than the Christmasaurus and 
but I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm actually going to see the play in December, so I'm so, so pumped for that. But this book is disgustingly good, so make sure you go and pick up a copy. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would like to see more of on my channel, and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.